So, the job. You'll be researching squirrels in Melmoth Forest. Exciting, I know. Yeah, the pay is not great, but it's a great opportunity. That's right. You'll have your very own research caravan and all the squirrels of Mammoth Forest to keep you company. Yes, you'll be perfect. I'm looking at your resume right now. No problem with isolation, proven self-sufficiency, low expectations. I'm frankly completely confident in your suitability for the role. You made it! Uh, it's me, Professor Scholz, Anita. Isn't the research station cozy? Um, I'd like to make sure that everything's in the right place, uh, you know, before we send you off into the wilds. Can you look around and see if you find a camera in there? Fantastic. Snap a photo for me, could you? Of the whole caravan? what I asked for. You never know with mail order. Okay, ready to go. Take a last look at civilization. All things going well, you'll be deep in the forest for a few months to finish the study. Simon, the logistics guy, will be there any moment to pick you up. He is a bit shy, so don't worry about small talk. Oh, sounds like he's there. Hold on to your hat. Again. Hope your nerves survived that shaky ride. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I know, but the quad only fits one. You'll get used to it. So, welcome to Mammoth Forest. I'm sure you'll love it here in such peace and quiet. Yes, yes, cash is transferred every Friday. Don't worry, we won't forget. I know it's not easy as a main graduate. cuts out sometimes, but I'll be quick. Everything you need should be right on your desk. And I'll fax over the details of your first task now. There's a corkboard in the caravan for your research. Just pin it up there. I'll wait. Okay, you can read back on this if you forget what to do. Now, can you see a small GPS device with an antenna? Your first task is simple. We just want to make sure the equipment works. So, first find the tree I marked on your GPS. Easy. Then place a camera nearby. Yes, exactly, pointing towards the tree. With that done, you can head back to your research caravan. Once you're in position at home, hit record on the recorder and then, well, we wait. When the recording is finished at night, you can review it. As soon as you see the squirrel on your TV, snap a picture, print it out and fax it to me. Got it? It can take a few days to get used to the work, so don't worry, there's no urgency. You're all set? Great. Then we'll talk again soon. Everything works like a charm. So, now what we really need is a close-up of this squirrel near its dash. We found them in treetops, under rocks, buried underground, anywhere, really. When I did this study 15 years ago... Oh, did I forget to mention that? Yeah, believe it or not, Panorama tried the exact same bullshit back in 82, trying to get this damnable dam approved. I know, but they won't succeed now either, thanks to you. Anyway, from my work back then, I know the squirrels here take the same route every night, so I'm sure you can follow him easily enough. When you have the squirrel in frame at the end of the recording, print out a photo and send it over. Oh, and Simon mentioned something about dropping off some extra stuff for you? Maybe check outside. now is as good a time as any to tell you what we're actually doing here. The Viago Institute, the place we work for, performs impact studies. Yes, exactly. Construction companies need to commission studies like this one to be legally permitted to build anything. And this one is commissioned by an entity known as Panorama Corp. They want to build a ludicrous five-star condo place here called Panorama Land. I know. And they tried something just like this 15 years ago. 
But my research into native squirrel habitats had to shut that down, because our fluffy little squirrels are classified as an endangered species. So your work here could help to save the space for the squirrels to live in. Anyway, I'm probably boring the ear of you. Let's get back to work. October 7th. Yes, I had to check. Still in 1982. Didn't need to check that yet. I've just arrived at location 4C, near the source of Mammoth Creek. It's my first day of the field study here, and I'm hoping to see some squirrels. No activity yet today, but my fingers are crossed. I'll stick around until nightfall. Squirrels aren't known to be nocturnal, but sure, who knows out here in Mammoth? I'm seeking to find out exactly where their nests are. Since they don't really hibernate, they have to come up and down the trees all the time. This one doesn't go very far into the forest. But hey, it's the middle of the night. <sighs> go to sleep. I'll call you back in the morning. Let's try something a little more challenging. We know that some squirrels build their nests, drays, a little bit further away from their nut stashes. 
According to my records, this one can go pretty far, so do be prepared for this task to take quite some time. I updated the location on your GPS. Good luck!
are an old boat in Mammoth Forest. There are some rivers here. I used to camp out right beside one, in fact. But I wouldn't have thought they were deep enough for a boat of this size. And you can't get any closer? <sighs> Too bad. But tell you what, I'll see if I can find anything about it in the records. stash dynamite and matches i mean did the squirrel plant that there or 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 who it's pretty clear that some things have changed since last time i was in mammoth forest we'll have our work cut out for us getting to the bottom of this <laughs> <laughs> 